Today's throwback. Before the swanky blue line and Jack on this GMB, that is General Muhammad Buhari frustrated battle line, Lagos had the functional tram service from 1902 to 1923. The colonial government started the construction of the Lagos Ibadan Rail Line in 1896 and completed it in 1901. In fact, part of that very line has been adopted from Alakuko near Songwater to Oyebo, just by the now decrepit original Edo Railway Terminals and is being rehabilitated to be used as the soon to be launched Red Line by the Lagos State Government. On the completion of phase one, that is the track from Lagos to Ibadan, of the major railway project in 1901, it became obvious that the passengers and goods destined for the administrative and commercial art of the colony of Lagos on the island from the interland needed another mode of transportation from Edo on the mainland to inner Lagos Island as far as the government offices in old Okokomaiko, now called Marina. The Lagos Steam Tramway was a passenger and sanitary tram service that carried cargo and passengers during the day and fecal waste during the night, as the phrase Nysol Tram within the colony of Lagos. The tram was an important public transit system which also connected travelers and merchandise from other commercial centers like Ibadan and Abeokuta via the cathedral-like railway terminals that do on mainland Lagos to the then busiest port of Lagos, which was in the Ayegbeti area of Lagos Island. In 1901, construction commenced on a single track over the old Gada-type cutter bridge. The tram service ran from 1902 to 1933 and it carried passengers and goods for 12 years from 1902 to 1914 and nice soil from 1906 to 1933. The passenger cars ran northward from old Okokomaiko in today's marina side of Lagos passing through the old customs wharf then turning left into Balogun Street to Ereko. Indeed, there is still a spot with an iron bar near Ereko which is still called Ojuri Yoruba Kolokwalism for railway line. A Butero Idu Mota and the first Kata Bridge to Ido. The passenger line was one of the earliest land bound municipal public transport systems in Lagos. It carried all sorts of passengers like travelers, traders, and workers from the train station at Ido going to Lagos Island and vice versa. In conclusion, I sometimes wonder if the nature of our public intellectual understanding really appreciates the magnitude of our past infrastructural accomplishments when I see us, politicians and people, dramatize the so-called commissioning of today's tokenistic dwarfs, such as boroughs, plant gutter culverts that are now called bridges, etc. When the giants in our past Railway in the late 1800s, citywide waterworks and reticulation was commenced in 1910 and commissioned on 1 July 1915 ATC. How then did we regress to the commissioning of bonds? Sad. So, so sad. And that's it on the show tonight. I'm Bola over.